Alright, uh, sorry for the air conditioner noise, but it's really hot today. Um, so I showed you this little antenna before, uh, how it's uh, marked wrong. It says diamond antenna. It says it's 144 and 430. And uh, 144 just doesn't exist on this antenna. It works okay at 440, but 144 is just not there at all. Um, so let's see, I bought two antennas. I bought this one, uh, which claimed to be a dual band antenna as well. It has a little coil there, so you might think, well, maybe it's a dual band antenna. Um, and um, it, the picture, I, I imagine this thing being a whole lot bigger than it is. It's only about five inches long. Um, so I imagined it being bigger and probably being able to do the job. It's got a magnetic mount, so. But it's a tiny little thing. It looks like a 800 megahertz antenna, not a, not a 144. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see how this dual band antenna works. It's claimed to be 144 and 4, 440. So let's uh, let's turn this on. And um, let's see. Let me, uh, let me turn off the Smith chart. Uh, display trace off. Okay, good. All right, so um, let's see. Let's zoom in on that. So uh, this is from one to nine hundred megahertz, uh, and there's only one dip. There's not a double dip, so it's definitely only a mono band antenna. And if we drag over the uh, markers down here around 460 uh, something like that let me uh, let me put it uh, let me uh, stick stick it on something metal so it has a ground plane so there we go it works better with a ground plane um, and we can see it's dipping here at around 430 oops sorry it's dipping here around 432 and here at 441 and a half it's okay so um, okay, so the truth about this is, um, when I bought the antenna, um, the resonant frequency was very, very short in wavelength. And so I took out some snippers and I kept cutting off and cutting off and cutting off, um, the top part of the antenna until it came around the 440 band. So it was, I forget how high it was, it was at least 10 megahertz high. Um, and it's even still a little, I mean, low. And I kept snipping it off to make it go higher and higher in frequency. Um, and it still could use another little snip. So anyway, um, once again, the antennas are out of China. Uh, just expect them to be totally wrong. Um, it doesn't work at 144. It's not dual band. It is mono band, and it was short in frequency. So I had to uh, make the frequency go up. I had to shorten the antenna to do that. Um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's smaller than the picture, although the picture doesn't tell you how big it is. Uh, it does come with a, like an eight foot cable, so that was kind of nice. Um, okay, so there's the story on, uh, on this guy. It's not much bigger than the, uh, not much bigger than the DNA itself. So, yeah, teeny tiny, what do you expect? Uh, so shortened up, uh, if, if you buy one of these, then you can tweak your antenna, make it resonate at 440, just keep, in, keep getting snip, snip, snip. This is very, very hard wire, really, really hard wire, so you need really good snips to, uh, to do that. Um, I had to take a little protective cap off to do the snipping. I'll have to glue that cap on again when I'm done, um, so don't, try, don't lose that. All right, let's look at another antenna that I bought. This one I actually had high hopes for. Um, it is this one. Let me zoom out. Uh, so it's quite long. Um, I'd say it's maybe 14, 15 inches long. Um, and it has uh, something here in the middle, and it has something here at the end. So you imagine, imagine there's a coil here and a coil here, and it's nice and long, and it's made for a Baofeng radio, and uh, yeah, I expected great things. So let's let's hook it up. All right. So let's 
So, what do we get out of this one? Uh, we do get a double dip. Yay. So, let's see if we can uh, uh, figure out where this dip is. Let's uh, put it there. And it's dipping at 216. Wow, that's handy. Um, so, you might be able to try to use this at 220. So, let's say it's a 220 is fine. And then it's got this other sort of dip, sort of, uh, depending on how I grab it and how I tilt it, I can sort of get a, a dip over here. Let's see where that dip is. Six hundred and twenty. So, uh, a dip at two hundred and a dip at six hundred. So, not very useful. So, I have no idea what they were thinking when they built this antenna. Um, I have no idea at all. It must have been designed for two, the two twenty handband. I'm assuming. There's two twenty five, two sixteen, two twenty. Let's say two twenty five. So. Um, yeah, the 220, the 220 handband goes from 219 to 225, so, yeah, this is the high end. So, so, I guess it's an okay 220 antenna. Um, so it is marked, uh, 144, 430, and 900. That's what it's marked. And it seems to be maybe an okay antenna at 220. Um, wow. <laughs> it is, uh, I don't know if you can read that on camera. It is marked an RH951S by Diamond again, Diamond Antenna. Uh, made in Japan, supposedly. Uh huh. Uh, so I think it's just a complete ripoff, and I think they had a design for a 220 antenna, and they just put the same label on everything. It's, it works everywhere. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Pretty crappy antenna.